Well, hello, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your strength and positivity reading for May 2020. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are turning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. A little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Okay, without further ado, my beautiful Virgos, we'll get straight to your reading. Uh, for those of you who'd like to know, I'm using uh, the Good Tarot deck by Colette Baron reed Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo straight away with uh, their reading? Okay, did we have anything else there? No, we didn't. Ooh, look at this energy straight away. Okay, wow. So we're starting here with the messenger of earth. So obviously it's resonating with your element at the moment. Things that you can see on the earthly plane there. This is about hard work, of course, and proceeding with integrity, which of course, Virgo, you always do when it comes to business, your finances, and, uh, you know, how you conduct yourself day to day. Uh, this is... Um, being prudent and careful with your money and using thoughtfulness and being in industrious when it comes to uh, making your money and having the stamina and dedication to proceed regardless of uh, the situations, uh, the tough situations that you find yourself in, okay? You always tend to find yourself in the flow of committing to co-creating with spirit effectively and efficiently when it comes to your money. You're always seeking out um, new avenues to make money if one avenue has stopped forever, uh, for whatever reason there. And you're actually very dedicated and determined to uh, get to where you want to go and your efforts will pay off when you get this card, Or okay? When we get the messengers um, and the pages, they always bring news of some sort of um, positive, um, you know, outcome of your finances or things to do that are work related there. But it's because of your stamina and your dedication during this time that things are coming to fruition. And also um, they are, um, you know, paying off as it were when you get this card, but you'll get some sort of news there regarding this. But it is about proceeding with integrity at this time and persevering with uh, the situation at hand in order to come uh, good and, and have those um, wonderful um, finances um, sort of grow and, um, you know, um, get what you truly deserve because you never leave a job half done is what this card is about. Um, so it is getting things uh, done and sorted so that you can grow financially, okay? And we have the Queen of Fire following hot on the heels of the Messenger of Earth. Now, obviously, when we're dealing with fire, we're dealing with things that you're passionate about, things that are uh, you, you feel strongly emotional about enthusiastic and the queen of fire is about this wonderful collaboration that you have going on um with spirit there you know making your money but do making money with something that you truly you know uh, sets your soul on fire there and you're actually very capable um of uh, forming very strong relationships as well during this time um you know reaching out to people online or you know coming into contact with new people who can help you um gain a greater knowledge and um step up into uh, you know your uh, step closer as it were to your dreams there uh, you're capable of um co-creating something incredible during this time now if you're not um uh, if you're not uh, connecting with collaborators on the earthly uh, physical uh, realm then you're, you're co-creating with spirit there okay but the, the queen of fire she has a she has a way of illuminating her dreams and watching them grow okay as you can see there she's planted the seed which uh, you know the messenger of earth uh, comes along to give you some news about things that you've already planted. The seeds that you've planted so far are starting to grow. That passion and fire, as you can see, the tree it, uh, is is it's, it's it's on fire. It's illuminated there. So the things that you've planted are coming to fruition, and you're starting to see this growth and and fire uh, there. And um, it, it's about um, again letting this uh, flow happen. It, it's almost like because you're so passionate about it and your expression, uh, expressing your passions through what you do on a work plane, spirit has acknowledged that and is bringing all that you desire towards you. Okay, the queen of fire. Uh, she is a queen. 
and she sits in her power, right? It is almost like that power behind the throne. She has the wonderful ideas that she puts out there and the king, in the traditional sense of the tarot, will action all of these desires that the queen uh, has come up with. Um, but you're, you're, you're actually sitting in your own power here with the, with, uh, the modern day. But uh, it speaks to you sitting in your power, the seeds that you have, um, have uh, sowed, as it were, are starting to grow and you don't need to take any action now because you're in queen mode. That starts to come to you, okay? You, you've, you've put it out there what you want, you've put it out there, you've worked hard, and now you're seeing it illuminate and come to life. Uh, with that queen of fire. I do apologize, something is really tickling me here, so I'm just gonna, uh, just turning my attention from the cards. Uh, thank you so much, spirit guides, guardian angels. What else do my beautiful Virgo need to know? Thank you so much. Now, this is a very bizarre uh, thing that's just come to, to me. It's gonna speak to somebody out there, but uh, an alligator or alligators or crocodiles, or so, they just came to me. Uh, they gave me that vision there. Uh, it's important to somebody, um, that, that creature. Uh, either it's a signifier for you or uh, you were planning a holiday to go and see these cre wonderful creatures. Or um, they've also shown me a crocodile come to the surface. So maybe you've been watching for some time about something in particular and all will come to light. Um, because it, everything's coming to the surface. Now these creatures, as I said, are important to somebody out there. Uh, it's a very unique uh, image that they've given me, but they have given me that uh, for somebody out there, okay? Now we have the Six of Air, okay? Six of Air is about uh, communication, and it's a rite of passage when you get this card. Necessary changes are in action, and you have to um, have a different perspective or a different way of thinking in order to gr uh, gain that greater wisdom. Okay, this is a card when you're, you're sailing turbulent seas, okay, but you must trust that um, these seas are there to help you get, uh, gain greater knowledge, but you can remain calm and centered because you have this card right next to it there. Um, so you can have that calm within you to navigate these seas, even though your outer world is very turbulent, uh, this too shall pass, it will soon pass. Uh, but uh, this is about you remaining very calm and centered, okay? Um, you're, uh, you're actually a sign, Virgo, <laughs> they've just given this to me, which is really uh, an interesting thing, a way of putting it. You're actually conditioned to expect turbulent times, they've given me, okay? So it's almost like no matter what comes your way, Virgo, you're ready for it. Um, they, they, they just know that you always have a knack of planning ahead, um, for tougher times, for sh you know, sh for shrift. So it's almost like um, you've come into your own um, because you are just ready. Uh, you you just naturally gifted for being ready. You don't know what ready for what, uh, but you use your instincts there, knowing that you need to be ready for all situations at all times, so that you're never surprised. Is what they're giving me there. Um, that is also a message for somebody out there. Um, but you, uh, you, you choose to believe that stepping into the unknown will actually bring you what you truly desire as well. Because you're not afraid of tough times. You're not afraid of turbulence because you're ready for it. You know, you understand deep down that um, uh, uh, tumultuous times or, uh, you know, rough seas, they, they normally bring you to a calmer space where you need to be. You understand that transition when you've got this card. So this is your deep understanding of that rite of passage, knowing that sailing and navigating those tough seas always brings you to your higher self. Interestingly, it coincides, this is the first week of May there. Interesting, it coincides with the planetary action, which is the 7th of May. Um, the full moon goes into Scorpio, which is about embracing the shadow side and uh, letting those uh, tumultuous feelings of your shadow side um, wash over you and go so you can purge yourself and cleanse yourself and come out lighter okay but it's about embracing um, those uh, feelings and learning from them so that you shed all the baggage and then move on to a calmer space a more enlightened space there um, you know that transformation that happens with Scorpio um, so here uh, it's interesting it coincides there but you understand this um, Queen of Water Wow okay you've got two Queens right there so you're really standing in your power and with the Queen of Water we're dealing with emotion compassion um, emotional security and you're also um, you're being very generous when it comes to your emotions and your feelings Virgo and um, sometimes I feel like Virgo is um, 
misunderstood when it comes to emotions. People look at Virgo and think, oh, you know, they're all about service and, you know, on, on, on the surface, they don't, they don't show their emotions. You know, there's this, along with Scorpio, is this like, you know, they've got this facade where you have to dig deep for the emotions, but you're a very, very emotional um, uh, uh, soul there, Virgo, and often misunderstood. Um, but this is a time for self-love and self-care. You're often uh, very giving and you give a lot of yourself. You're always caring for people. And you show your care through, you know, checking in on people, see how they are in a health sense and, you know, in a mental space, are they doing okay? Maybe cooking for them. You know, you give your love in very uh, practical ways that, that scream to the world, I love you. Uh, but actually some people go, no, I want flowers. I want chocolates. I want romance. I want that. And you're like, but I'm taking care of you at your core, which is your food, you know, your, your mental space, making sure everything's comfortable for you okay so um, they're, they're just giving me that in particular with this card um, but they're saying remember yourself okay you are in Queen energy at the moment now this is not a gender specific reading it's about the energy of the the moment and the card and it's about you sitting in your power and having self-love taking self-care being a healer not only for yourself but those around you you're very comfortable in your skin at this time Virgo and um, you, you, you love and you're cherishing yourself and this is the right space to be in okay um, you you are <laughs> they've given me you're the best friend to yourself okay now uh, I think everybody should really take on that sort of energy you are the best friend to yourself because you can't let yourself down really if you truly are respecting yourself in that self-care self-love mode now we have beautiful wonderful friends and family around us who also take care of us but ultimately spirits remembering remember yourself okay come back to yourself and see where you're giving out too much to others and and depleting your energy um, and and remember to heal yourself remember to uh, take care of that that self uh, love that you have there um, as much compassion that you give out to others remember to reflect it onto yourself hold the, that mirror up to yourself and beam it back right into your soul because you deserve it Virgo you're very caring and um, so go deep within and, and, and just check in, see if you're actually giving too much of yourself because there is a tendency at this time where you're just checking out on other people. Are they okay? Is everybody okay? And sometimes, Virgo, you just wish someone would go, hey, Virgo, are you okay? How are you doing? Would you like some care? Would you like some food? But sometimes because you're giving out, that was a sign for giving out cash, I'm sorry. Um, but I felt like you're giving out, you know, you're giving out a lot of your resources, not cash, uh, but you know, your love and your attention and care, that sometimes it will be nice for um, people to do the same for you. And um, Spirit is saying, acknowledge yourself first all else will come. You'll see a flood of people coming on in there uh, to, to check in, see how you are for once. Four of Earth. Okay, so back to the physical plane about making money and um, having the uh, ownership of your life. Thinking about um, solid foundations. When you've got the four, four of uh, Earth here, it resonates with the four pentacles in the traditional tarot. It's about long-term security, okay? Building that solid foundation um, both in relationships, it can be for relationships, but also, but mainly for money at the moment. Um, and it's, it's saying even though you've had this like shaking up of energy and you're unable to kind of understand why this has happened um, and that, you know, money is all of a sudden, you know, gone, scarce, uncertain. This period is very, um, a very uh uncertain time they're just giving me uncertain uncertain um, and you're looking at what you've built so far and the solid foundation that you actually have there is uh, something that allows you to not have too much fear okay which is a wonderful space to be in um, and if you're, you're thinking that you're not quite there yet spirits asking you to look at that solid foundation that you've built and see where you can um, you know um, not cut back they're not saying cut back uh, where you can rebuild if there's, okay, they're showing me if there's a leak somewhere, you need to fix it, okay? There is, uh, you, need, you need to rebuild, as it were. Finding uh, this security in um, the existence of uncertain times, okay? And 
If anyone can do it, Virgo, you can, is what they're saying there, because you're so resourceful. As, as they said earlier in the, in the reading, you know, you are built for this situation um, because of who you are as a person. You're always ready for that what if moment, okay? Um, so they are just uh, asking you uh, at the center of your reading, interestingly enough, the first card and uh, the middle card are the strongest. They're both dealing with your finances, your, your financial foundation. Uh, Spirit is there to remind you that where you are is exactly where you're meant to be, okay? And acknowledge that in this moment. Um, so even though you may feel like your foundation is not as solid as you would have liked it to have been, Spirit says, it's okay. They're taking care of everything behind the scenes, but you are meant to be where you are right now because it is in alignment with your purpose and uh, your prosperity path, okay? Because you are on the way. You always have abundance available to you when it comes to this card, okay? As you can see there, it comes from the mind though. It's all about this, um, you know, if you've got a lack of of prosperity mindset, then you will have more of that. If you have a solid foundation, uh, more will come towards you uh, to, to line your solid foundation. It's about being that magnet. As you can see this um, sort of wonderful spiritual angel creature in the center there, using the branches of her mind and uh, you know everything is expansion there and growth. As you can see, it all starts with you, Virgo. That's what they want you to be in this mindset. Thinking about yourself, looking after yourself with self-love, self-care, respect, healing any wounds that you still have with that Scorpio moon there in the shadow self so that you can be completely pure when you come out the other side and ready to attract more abundance, okay? Use that power of the mind. That's two cards there where you're drawing through, uh, drawing stuff towards you by using the power of the mind. So some of you, law of attraction is very important at this time. Um, Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Um, ooh, three, is that three? Can I take those? Sometimes I can't take them. For those of you who are new to my channel, I take jumpers from the pack. Yes, I can take those. Thank you so much. Um, Emperor, ooh, yeah. So you're, you're, you're looking to level up here, Virgo, um, during this time. This is mid-May now. Now, also, you can be dealing with Aries because an Emperor card is an Aries there. Uh, Queen of Fire, um, she is uh, illuminating um, the path of your dreams, what you truly want there uh, for your uh, future uh, that makes money from your passions. And then you start stepping into that emperor mode to actually action it, making that strategy, okay? Emperor is also, um, how, how can I put that? Uh, it's about respect and leadership. Okay, but it is a reminder about planning during this time. Now that's in the uh, that's in the traditional tarot. Uh, in this particular deck, uh, emperor deals with authority. Okay, so any um, you might be dealing with any um, financial institutions, you know, like banks. You might be dealing with government um, uh, announcements, uh, things to do with schools, any sort of institution. Um, you could be dealing with them at this time. And the message with this particular card is always about following the rules right now. Uh, it, following what you exactly should be doing with regards to the advice that these institutions or places uh, may be giving you. Any advice that you're being given on some sort of legal um, um, outcome as well is also favored at this time, but you must take the advice that you've been given because you've actually been given very good advice uh, during this time, but when you ask for it, okay? You can have the confidence um, that this card uh, sort of suggests. You're leading in power, okay? There's a beautiful lion there with a lot of strength, authority, and, uh, you know, grounded energy. So if you're dealing with some sort of, um, you know, um, any sort of legal stuff or, you know, any, anywhere you have to get advice um, from some sort of institution, know that you are getting the right advice for a successful outcome, okay? And we have the two of earth there, back to the physical plane. This is about um, under, understanding where you're happy at work and being adaptable, um, you know, having that balance between work and play during this time, um, because you have a tendency, Virgo, to be quite a workaholic, okay? Now, I know that is a bit of a cliche to, to throw at you, Virgos, but 
they're saying during this time you 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 could suffer from some sort of overworking and that although your efforts do bring you joy uh, because you you know you love uh, the analytical side you love uh, you know the practical side of making money watching your foundations grow remember to play okay because um you know you need to you need to realize that um you know if we've got all our focus in one place uh, then you know there is one stream of um you know energy going to that one place and you know you can't force things to happen in one place sometimes you have to open up i hope this is making sense because they're showing me open up your energy here um, to allow more abundance in and the way that you do that is by raising your vibrations now if you've got all your vibrations stuck in one place at trying to make the money looking at the graphs and the figures and everything like that you, you're kind of stagnating in one place they're saying please open up yourself to some sort of playful energy because when you're happy joyful and um, you know um you know at play uh, more energy comes uh, from within your soul and magnetizes and attracts more abundance towards you. So um, please allow yourself to play a little bit more there. Um, one way or another, your dreams are actually being manifested uh, in the material world when you get this card. But do remember to enjoy yourself, okay? Enjoy your, yourself in other pursuits. Um, how are they giving me that? Sorry, just one moment. They're giving me... Um, yeah, so they basically said, how many times have you thought flippantly, you know what, I really love that, and then you ignored it. I don't know if you heard there was a bang there on my door. That was really bizarre. So this is obviously a message that's very important to somebody. Rewind the video, see if you heard that. Uh, but anyway, uh, what they're saying is if you have a, a thought that comes flippantly into your mind and says, uh, you know what, I really love that, and then you forget about it, and you go off and you have fun and you see your friends or whatever, and about two or three, three weeks later, it pops up in your life, and you're like, Damn, about two or three weeks ago, I was thinking I really wish I could have something like that, and here it is. You didn't crush the vision. You just put it out there in the universe, and it came along. But then you're looking at other things in your life where you're like, oh, I really want this. I really want this. Come on. Is this coming? I really want it. Come on. I'm just going to really force the vision into view. Let's do this. If you force it, it doesn't come, right? It doesn't come as quickly as you want it to. So they're saying just be a bit more free with uh, what it is you truly desire. Put it out there, then let it go. Let it flow, let it go. It will come to you when the timing is right. So they just wanted you to be aware of that. Sorry if it waffled on, but sometimes they give me a, pati a particular message. So I'm just giving you what they've given me. And uh, so messenger of water, there's a lot of news around you at the moment. You may be dealing with some sort of uh, water element here, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancer. Uh, when you get the messenger of water, this is a, a romantic attraction, okay? So you could be dealing with, as I said, th those water elements. Uh, but it's someone uh, who holds you in a lot of admiration, okay? They see the best in you uh, despite uh, situations, and you also reciprocate. You see the best in them despite situations. This is a, a heightened emotional awareness of you and this other person. And it's actually not only a call for you to fall in love with yourself when you get this card, but it is a call for you to reach out to the other person uh, if you are uh, interested in a romantic sense. They're saying um, life's too short to be hoping that the other person does it. So there is a, a call to take action. But also because this is a messenger of water and it's a messenger they're bringing in on they're bringing in news I feel more that this energy the person's gonna come to you okay but during this time before this person comes on in there um, you need to look for the best in yourself and the best in others and you know challenge it's like spirit saying um, we're all in uh, troubled waters at the moment. There is this energy of chaos going on around the world. Some people do not serve their higher self during this time. Everyone reacts to uh, danger or conflict or chaos in very different ways. And uh, Spirit is asking you uh, from a non-romantic uh, sense with this card, um, to acknowledge that everybody has a different way of expressing fear. Everyone has a different way of expressing love and all of those things. And um, some people who you think, you know what, get out of my face. I can't stand you. I think, why are you so annoying? Um, sometimes they're acting in their low vibrations because of fear. And they're, they're not asking you to forgive that. They're not, that's not what this card is about. They're asking you to acknowledge that some people just can't 
uh, entertain their evolved higher self. They just can't do it. They're not there yet. And you are, Virgo, but you have to overlook, as it were, some of these low vibrational energies that are around at the moment. Stay away from them, obviously, because you need to be in a period of self-love right now and do you, but acknowledge that these people, you know what, they're just not in the right evolved position right now to deal with some of the things that you are, and you can't expect them to... Um, to uh, be as evolved as you right now. Uh, I've al always got this sentence that they give me, which is uh, you can only love a person or only uh, meet a person on a, a physical, mental plane as far as you have deeply met yourself, okay? So um, they just haven't had, they haven't had the, the maybe the tumultuous time, because sometimes we need tough times to break us open to the light, you know. Maybe they haven't had the experiences that you have that have allowed them to grow and deeply know themselves as much as you have. So they're not asking you to forgive them, but they're asking you to acknowledge it so that you don't take on any of that anger, uh, okay, um, in frustration with this person or these people that you could be dealing with. But coming back to the romantic sense, I'm sorry, they've asked me to deviate there, okay, but um, in the terms of the romantic sense, this attraction is actually coming, it's stemming from the fact that you're self-loving yourself, okay? Spirit will only send in that person that you truly desire when you love yourself, okay? And that's what the Queen of Water is asking you to do mid-May, and just after, um, it's, a, it's the second week of May actually, and it's just after that full moon in Scorpio. So when you started healing yourself, that's when this romantic interest will come forward to you, because Spirit is, uh, it's almost like they're talking with the person that you're interested in, they're talking to their spirit guides and saying, well, my Virgo's ready now. So you can send on in that person if they're ready. It's like they're communicating, okay? So that's very important. And they're giving me the seahorse. Again, this is uh, quite relevant. I think maybe the seahorse came up in your um, general May reading. Um, and uh, it's about seahorses uh, being, um, they mate for life. This is the solid foundation because it's, uh, it's just underneath... Um, the, the, the uh, four of earth, which is building solid foundations, as I said, not just on a, a physical material plane, but also in the, the sense of a romantic, on the romantic plane also. Okay, you're looking for that solid foundation and you've got that seahorse there. Uh, they mate for life. So this is uh, someone you're manifesting because you obviously have the queen of fa fire in this particular row. Someone you are deeply passionate about. Now it could also be because we got fire there. It could be Aries, Leo, Sag. It could be the earth, uh, another earth sign, your Virgo, uh, Capricorn or Taurus, or that water element there. Um, seven of water. There's a lot of choices when you get the, the seven of water. Um, but it's, uh, it's more about using your imagination, this card. Um, now, when you get the um, seven of water, it's, uh, you know, you're dealing with a lot of things on your plate in, in the mental, um, in the mental space that affects your emotions, okay? But, and that's in the traditional tarot, but in this particular tarot, it means uh, using your imagination, fantasizing uh, in terms of artistic endeavors, okay? Now is the time to actually um, tune into those um, possibilities you know, where you can make extra money that will su uh, serve you on an emotional uh, contentment space um, and begin to play with them. You know, anything is possible when you have cards like these. Everything begins in the world of imagination. They're asking you to tap into that wonderful, furtive imagination that you have and allow yourself to dream of possibilities. Because when you dream of possibilities and, you know, outcomes and opportunities, they start to manifest in your life, okay? So use that intuition that you have and that desire to blend what's in your mind, that magic that's in your mind, to bring it into the material, physical world. You have the emperor right underneath there. So it is about, you know, taking charge and planning, using that uh, energy to, um, you know, what you dream about, you can bring about, okay? Think what you think about, you bring about. And it's also about... Uh, you know, what you can see in the mind, you can have in the hand, okay? So it really is remembering that spirit is co-creating with you during this time. And any doubts that you have, um, you need to get rid of them, quash them, because everything is possible. Can you see that? There are all of these things here, all different avenues that you could take, all those choices. It's not about choice. It's, it's suggesting to you that 
Anything and everything is possible at this time. We're being given this shakeup of energy to truly assess what is deep in our soul. It's interesting you have the Four of Pentacles there, Four, four of Earth, uh, in the center of your read, which is about building that foundation that will serve your higher self in an emotional contentment space, okay? And you've got the King of Air. You need to communicate it, okay? This is about... Um, when you've got the air, it's about, uh, you know, dealing with the mind, dealing with intellect, communication. And this uh, getting this card is about intellectual authority, okay? Using, um, once you've got all your emotions in key as to what you truly desire and what you want to manifest, then you can allow reason and in, uh, intellect uh, to plan ahead. So it's almost like this is uh, just... Um, how can I say that? Uh, it is corresponding with the uh, the Emperor card there about using planning, uh, strategic planning to get um, and negotiate what it is you truly want. Now, King of Air also deals with rules and laws. So you do have that double um, sort of Emperor energy there going on about what it is um, you know, you need to find out on a legal plane or, you know, and things, you're, a, you're in king energy, you're in emperor energy, so things will be successful, uh, but you, you may be dealing with some sort of institution there, banks, um, as I said, you know, government, uh, legal things, um, and negotiating, but it's always positive when you get that king, uh, because truth is everything, okay, and, but this card does remind you to think before you act, Act in your higher good and work with universal laws to have a clear intention. So this card is also about seeing where you truly want to go in the long term for your uh, foundations, your solid foundations and building around that. Anything is possible, okay? Anything is possible and everything is possible. You just need to communicate it. You need to follow your uh, instinct as well as your logic, okay? Um, it's like they're partnering um, hand in hand here okay and looking at the foundations of the past then the present to inform your future okay when you got that king of air but it is a bit about being the master um, of your your destiny again with that that king you know you are acting to serve your higher self in the future so you're really building this solid foundation here Virgo thank you so much spirit guides guardian angels what else do my beautiful Virgos need to know during this time? Can you please guide them? Thank you so much. Uh, they're just showing me a set of rings, interestingly enough. Um, it's like, so maybe you have marriage on your mind, Virgo, with somebody. Or, uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. I'm truly grateful. Um, <laughs> uh, but you have patience. Uh, which just came out there, uh, but they were showing me, um, it's interesting that they were showing me before uh, this card came out, they were showing me a set of gold rings, gold bands, maybe you feel bonded to somebody, uh, somebody that maybe you're not even with right now, um, or you're thinking about making some sort of proposal to them, or maybe they're, uh, because this card came out, maybe they're not ready yet, or maybe you're not ready yet. But this is about patience. So they just gave me that image just before this card popped out. So I'm not sure if it's connected, but that's what they gave me. So patience, obviously, um, we all understand the word patience, uh, but this card is about moderation in this particular deck. It reminds you that patience will bring you to um, your higher goals. It will bring you in alignment. Uh, you, you recognize that you're actually in alignment with your true purpose, but having that patience to get there. Um, all your needs are actually being met at the moment. And even though you feel like you're not exactly where you should be right now, Spirit is reminding you that, yeah, you're on the divine path. You're exactly where you're meant to be for learning and knowledge and all else grows from there. But you need to take, uh, you need to take um, mind of it. You, you need moderation in all things right now. That's finances, um, your emotions. You're actually quite balanced. So I'm getting that you're, you're actually quite balanced. So I don't think it speaks to emotions actually. It's you, your finances and where you, you're meant to be. Perhaps with eating, um, they've, they've given me some things about eating, moderation, looking after, um, okay, uh, yeah, so they said temptation was at the bottom of the deck when we started, is, is that correct? I'll have to rewind that when we, when we start. Okay, they said, uh, yeah, temptation was at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, so eating they've given me, um, you know, be careful, just be moder uh, in moderation there with uh, your, 
uh, eating habits, that you're looking after your body, this self-love, self-respect, all else flows from there. But do have patience with a situation. Um, it, it must be to do with love because they showed me the bands there. So um, a lot of people are dealing with a lot of things right now and um, they may not be in certain mindsets because they're too busy making sure their little world does not fall, fall apart during this chaotic time. Um, so because the, the wedding bands, the gold bands came up, perhaps um, you need to have patience in some sort of love situation um, and it will, uh, it will manifest itself in a successful way. Uh, but have patience there, but also food. They gave me food. Thank you so much spirit guides, guardian angels. What else do my beautiful Virgos need to know regarding uh, the time period I've set for their strength and positivity reading? Um, just for those uh, who are new, my strength and positivity reading is about reading the energies of the time and not specifically uh, finding out about love or uh, money for you. Thank you so much. Nine of air. Okay, nine of air is um, shifting negative talk. Okay, uh, you, you need to be compassionate to yourself and um, you need to step away from fear. Anything is possible. This is a call to your faith with this card. Okay, you need to have faith. They just brought, it, brought me to this card, patience and faith, patience and faith. Now this could be to do, as I said, with some sort of marriage situation here, but patience and faith, it will all work out. Um, for the higher good uh, but you need to be gentle with yourself and others they're bringing me back to the person uh, that maybe uh, you someone you may be dealing with who is not acting in their higher vibrations right now patience and faith they're giving me okay um, but everything uh, that you tell yourself um, okay so they're saying everything you tell yourself um, Virgo is um, what you truly are so if you keep saying to yourself um oh damn i'm stupid then that's exactly what you you will think you are okay they're asking you to correct your thoughts do not have any negative self-talk if you think you know if you um if you tell yourself that you should have should have done this and you know you didn't do it at the time and um and telling yourself off they're saying don't don't tell yourself off you did what you had to do in that moment and that's the way you led life in that moment forgive yourself let it go and just you know let it move on you need to live in this moment exist in this moment and everything that you tell yourself will actually be real so have faith in yourself and have faith and tell yourself that everything will be okay and it will be okay. They're asking you to use that positive mindset in order to manifest your outer realm. Okay, Spirit reminds you that you can do uh, everything you can do in this moment and everything will be better. You will open up to new possibilities. They are currently on your horizon when you've got this card, but they're asking you to shift that negative talk, get it out of your way because that's the only thing that's stopping you from getting to the horizon where the beautiful sun is okay six of air you're sailing the the, the ship through choppy seas uh, you're close to the horizon but your negative self-talk is stopping you from getting the true abundance that is just waiting there for you so some of you have to correct and shift that mindset there where would you like this card over the six thank you so much Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What else do my beautiful Virgo need to know regarding this situation? Can you please guide them to where they maybe need to go? <laughs> okay, so once you shift your mindset, Virgo, the wheel of fortune turns in your favor, okay? Be mindful how you talk to yourself, okay? If, if you listen to some of the thoughts that you had about yourself and you wrote them all down, and then you look at that piece of paper and you say, okay, if another person said those horrible things to me about me, you would not feel very good about that other person. You think they're horrific, right? They're saying some of you are not being very nice to yourself. You're self-abusing yourself in your mind, okay? Once you stop that, once you become, you acknowledge that and stop that sort of uh, talk to yourself, Wheel of Fortune shifts in your favor. Wheel of Fortune is about um, this, uh, you know, uh, obviously Fortune's Wheel, it brings in more abundance. Uh, luck starts being on your side though. In this particular deck, it means destiny meets synchronicity, 
okay, you will start to see more clearly synchronicities in your mind. If you've already done the work, because interestingly, they wanted it on the nine of air there. Sorry, they wanted the nine of air on the six of air, which coincides with the, the full moon in Scorpio. So they're, this dark night of the soul, this uh, addressing your shadow side, that's when it's all going to come up for a go, when you realize how you've been talking to yourself or, you know, some of the things they're showing me. If you're thinking like, oh, God, I'm fat. They just given me that. Um, uh, then you know you, you're not helping yourself. You're actually abusing yourself. If you look at yourself and go, yeah, I'd like to lose a few pounds, then it's a helpful energy that you're in, rather than uh, a negative uh, mind space. Okay, uh, that's not for anybody out there. They're just giving me that as an example. So uh, Wheel of Fortune is about synchronicity, and there there are going to be some lucky breaks on their way for you. Moments when you think. Um, things should just turn out perfectly uh, will start to happen in that way. Um, your gamble, whatever that was, will start to pay off and you must trust spirit uh, with their uh, their partnership right now that they're actually, um, it's like they're showing you your, your destiny and it was so obvious to you but you couldn't really see it until now, until you took away that negative mindset. You couldn't see exactly uh, the true uh, prosperity that was on its way for you. Okay, so um, again, they're speaking of the seven of water with this card, which is anything's possible. Whatever you've been dreaming, you can have it. Fortune turns in your favor. Okay, they want that on top of the... Um, on top of the solid foundation because you've built the solid foundation and now all this wonderful abundance is uh, coming straight for you. It's really beautiful. Um, they keep bringing me back to um, the temptation card again. Be mindful of temptation. You have four of fire, okay? Four of fire, again, what you truly care about, where you have str strong emotion for. It's a new creative phase, a celebratory time. Um, so just after fortune's wheel shifts in your favor, celebration comes on in, okay? Um, it's um, a harmonious time in relationship. So if you've been having that rocky road uh, with somebody uh, or those uh, wedding bands mean something to you, um, there is a more harmonious energy on its way for you. If you're creative, um, some wonderful opportunities are coming your way and you're going to co-create with a lot of people and make incredible uh, projects there that will come to life um, and, and um, not only serve your higher energy and your higher purpose, but they will allow others to step up as well as you. Um, but this is about making magic together coming together, celebrating, having that wonderful, um, you know, um, abundant time together, sharing um, in good fortune, okay? So this could co uh, inside with energies of people coming together also, you know, being reunited. Sometimes this is a reunite reunited card. Um, eight of air, okay? Eight of air is release from uh, any sort of denial or illusion that you had and seeing things really as they are, that clarity with this with this card. So it is again seeing what wonderful abundance lay on your horizon, but you couldn't see it because of all the negative thoughts there, Virgo. So banish all of those and your abundance will flow from there. Release um, anything that doesn't serve you. Your spirits are actually encouraging you at this time to open your eyes and see where you have it good and where your foundations are truly solid and uh, let go of any fear because all this wonderful um, opportunity is drawing towards you. The only thing that is stopping you right now is that um, negative thought that you're giving yourself. But you must have patience. It is coming in towards you. And I do want one more. It's quite excessive that they've asked for this many, but uh, they have. So thank you so much. Spirit guides, guardian angels. What else do my beautiful Virgo need to know? Thank you so much. There's no time to my... I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Spirit. I'm truly grateful. There's no time limit to my readings. I, I read what Spirit would like me to give you. So um, I do apologize if it's uh, waffling on there for you. Uh, but this is what they truly want to give you. So we have Ace of Water. Unconditional love. Overflowing. Wonderful abundance here. Now, if you've been out of balance, as I said, with this romantic interest or things have not been happening the way you wanted it to, as quickly as you wanted it to, um, all else will be resolved. But you need to stop this negative thinking. Um, that's the thing that's uh, in your way there. And also to forgive them. They're not saying forgive. 
they're saying acknowledge thank you spirit they corrected me again um to acknowledge that people are not as evolved as you okay and that's not their fault it's just their experience in life uh, they're on the path that they need to be on and you are on the same path that you need to be on okay um and um acknowledge that they're just not as evolved but towards the end of the shift i'm giving this is actually just after uh, may this unconditional love uh, will come on in there. It will come into play. Now, not only are you going to be filled with love uh, from spirit for yourself and be joyous and, uh, you know, you've allowed yourself to work and play and shifted all these negative thoughts. Um, love will give you hope. It's like a shining, brilliant light in all the possibilities that are available to you. But also in the traditional tarot, the ace, <clears throat> some, somebody may have a problem with their throat there. I'm getting a real like croaky and losing voice so that may speak to somebody it was just shifting and passing but they actually then drew me to my thro throat um it's like they couldn't get their words out so maybe this is actually a time where this person is going to get their words out for you okay and tell you how they feel because in the traditional tarot the ace of water is the ace of cups and that is a new love opportunity coming on in so you may have somebody in mind that you wanted to reach out to or you wanted them to reach out to you at the end of may they are reaching out to you with this love proposal they're almost like confessing their feelings for you this is also about leveling up if you wanted to get married um then you're making this uh joint um proposal for each other to step into that um, you know into the the next stage of your relationship aces are about bringing the next uh, new level in your your relationship some of you may be talking about having children you know um but this is a, a wonderful uh, loving time um, and they want it right at the center of your reading because they're asking you to do all of this work and once you are, then that's when you are truly, oh, wow, they did it again. They said, look at the front of the card. And I looked at the front. And again, we have a seahorse mating forever. They, 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 they mate forever. Okay. They wanted me to highlight that. Um, but it is about this wonderful opportunity um, that will bring you so much emotional contentment. It, it's like your dreams coming true on the love level okay um with this card but all needs to be shifted thank you so much spirit uh, it all needs to be shifted your mindset uh, all this work needs to be done to allow this path to open up uh, for this wonderful abundance not only on a financial level but also on a love level uh, to, to to come your way um thank you so much spirit they said that's enough um they wanted me to say that the ultimate goal even though you've set your foundations there Virgo your ultimate goal is the highest love that's not just for yourself but for others but they say it all starts with the self that's what they wanted me to do as a final message there for you thank you so much Spirit I'm truly grateful uh, I'm just going to give you uh, an angel oracle card uh, to close the reading thank you so much Spirit Guardian Angels see only love come on Okay, that's that's the exact message they want to give you. This clarifies the whole reading. See only love. As I said, that person, if someone is not uh, acting in their higher self, observe it, acknowledge it that they they're not they're not in their full power yet. But see love. See them through the eyes of love. Okay, because that's when you release yourself from any sort of negative uh, feelings there. Okay, and also love yourself, Virgo. It says here, look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. I mean, what have I just been talking about? It's amazing. I love when they do that. Thank you so much, Spirit. Your resolute, your resolute focuses upon the love that underlines every situation and it brings about healing in undreamed of ways. Okay, so very important message here right now, Virgo. Pay attention to that. They're, bring, they're giving me the crocodiles again. Maybe something is going to come to the surface there for you or crocodiles are important. I can't imagine anyone's got a, a, a pet name for somebody that's a crocodile. <laughs> Thank you so much, spirit guides, guardian angels. Uh, if I could have another card for my beautiful Virgo, what else do they need to know regarding this time? Can you please guide them? Ooh. Let your past go and life purpose. Let your past go, life, purpose. 
Okay, so we have here, the burden of carting your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or you don't need it. And now it's gone. I love that. Let it go. Let it flow. Okay, that's the way it is, Virgo. Uh, only lead with love and light and your life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose, and then your purpose will serve you. Serving a purpose, loving yourself, healing yourself, and that purpose will serve you by bringing all you desire straight to you in that queen energy. Okay? It will come to you. Right, okay, my beautiful Virgo. Um, I hope that resonated. I'm going to give you a trinket before we go. Thank you so much, my beautiful Virgo. What do they need to know for this period? You want notes? Okay, they want notes. Oh my gosh, really? Okay. Right, I don't know which way to give it to you. Okay, so first of all, we have the seahorse. Again, amazing. So that's three seahorses in your reading. This is about your life partner. This is about finding that partner, that solid foundation with somebody who is truly connected to you forever, mating forever, okay? So you have it here. And a reminder that self-love and seeing everybody through the eyes of love is the most important at this time. Love, higher, the, the highest love of all is the most important, okay? So I hope you can see that. You have that seahorse there. Sometimes I wonder if you can see this at all, but uh, yeah, the seahorse right there. I'll just bring it back as well. So you have that. Seahorses mate forever. That's what they tell me with this this um, this trinket, okay? So I'm just putting it on the ace of water there. Um, but this is a beautiful, you know, stepping into the next energy power. So the next one we have is the shell, okay? This is for you to listen. Listen to your instincts, listen to your higher self, paying attention to your, your needs during this time, especially when it comes to looking after yourself and having that self-love and pay attention with the, the shell there, pay attention to the, to the way that you talk to yourself, okay? Observe any negative things that you're telling yourself there, Virgo, and let them go. But with the shell there, I don't know if you can see that. There's a shell, yeah, it's about the same on both sides. Uh, you need to listen very carefully how you talk to yourself because that's the only thing standing in your way right now. And very important, you got double butterfly, transformation, transformation times two, okay? Two butterflies there coincides with transformation, okay? Which is normally, um, you know, the death card Scorpio and that's the, the full moon in Scorpio. This transformation will lead you to the most beautiful path, okay? But you must transform. You must listen to what you're telling yourself there and use your guides to transform this energy so that the abundance uh, that is due to you on the horizon there can make its way to you in peace and serenity, okay? So we have that double butterfly. You're, you're in the cocoon phase uh, as we're starting May, but just the, the, the first week of May is very important to you. You need to listen there, okay, and transform, and then this higher love comes right on in there for you, Virgo. I hope this was uh, resonating in some way for my beautiful Virgos out there. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently, that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message, and it lets me know that you resonated with the reading, which is very important for me. Please, they've before I go, they've just pointed again to Fortune's Wheel. Uh, luck is now on your side. Luck will be in your favor. You need to remember the possibilities. They've just... It's unusual for them to interrupt when I'm closing down, but they have. Again, fortune's wheel, very important. Synchronicities, if you're seeing double of something, double butterfly. If you're seeing, I don't know, double crocodiles, whatever that message is. Um, yeah, that's important. Um, okay, so I'll just leave it there, my beautiful Virgo. I hope it resonated and love and light.